Hey guys, it's Kathy here today. So today I want to show you how to do something that I know there's a gazillion, bazillion different tutorials on the web to how to do this. However, I have created my own recipe and I think my recipe is pretty awesome. And I want to help you. I want to help you to make your products and your store look better. And I want to help you help your customer to have a better overall user experience. So today I want to show you how to wrap your artwork around a mug mock-up. My feeling about this is I see artwork slapped on mugs all the time when I'm shopping online. You just see it everywhere. I am no tech guru, but in this day and age and with the technology available to us, there is no excuse to have a crummy looking mug mock-up. There is no excuse to not even try <laughs> to make your mug mock-up look awesome. And it's within your reach to do so. You can make your mug mock-up look super awesome and it's not that hard. It's actually not hard at all especially because I'm going to show you how to do it very easily. All you need is Photoshop, mug mock-up, and I have my artwork. Those are the three things that you'll need in order to create a beautiful, convincing, realistic looking and attractive mug mock-up. So are you ready to make an awesome looking mug mock-up? Yes, let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Photoshop and I'm opening my mug mock-up template. Now I'm going to open up my artwork. So my mug has two sides and you can only see one side at a time. So I'm going to grab the artwork of one of the sides of my mug with my rectangular marquee tool. I'm selecting the area and I'm going to copy and paste it into my mug mockup. So this is already assuming that your artwork is sized correctly, vertically and horizontally to the size of your mug. So I'm pasting the artwork into my mug template. I want to make it transparent. So I'm in the layers palette and I'm going up to the top left where we have the drop down box where it says normal by default. So I'm I'm hitting that and I'm going to select multiply because multiply means transparent in Photoshop lingo. Command T for transform. And I'm also going to hold down my shift key in order to keep the aspect ratio correct. And I'm going to resize it smaller to the size, to the proportions of my mug. And as you can see, when I paste it, I'm leaving a little bit of white on the top and the bottom clear space because that is as it is on my actual mug printing. That's how it works. There's always a little bit of a little bit white on the top and bottom. So now what I'm doing is I'm selecting my rectangular marquee tool and I'm selecting an area of the artwork. This is where the warping is coming and we're going to do this on either side of the artwork here. I grab my rectangular marquee tool and the art area that I'm selecting it's kind of a bit of art and a bit of science here because it's always going to be a little different. I think about the artwork as if it's split right down the middle. And then I take about a quarter of the end of it that's on the mug and a quarter of it that's off of the mug as to how my mug mock-up is set up with the artwork to size. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. That is how I choose the amount of artwork I'm going to warp here out of the entire image. So now I'm going to go up to edit, transform, and now I'm going to choose warp. And you'll see the tool changes. So now I have this grid and on this grid, there are four corners and there are points and they have bars that you can pull and you can transform the artwork to the shape of your mug with those corners. So in case you've never used paths in Photoshop before, these paths with their points and handles are similar in look, in feel, and in functionality as the ones you will see and use in Adobe Illustrator. Out of our selection here, we're going to focus on the two outermost points of our warp selection to get the basic wrapping around the mug and then we're going to finesse our warp a little bit later. 
So let's start at the bottom, on the bottom point. So I'm gonna drag my bottom right point to the edge of where the mug ends. And I'm gonna position it in an area where the art would naturally curve to the edge of the mug. So we don't wanna put it too high or too low. Wanna put it where, the, where we're actually gonna envision where the horizon line, so to speak, would be. So if you're looking at the ocean and a beautiful sky and a sunset and you're seeing that line where the ocean meets the sky and you can really feel that space and how that space naturally fades and bends, then that's pretty much what we're going for here, except instead of an ocean, we have the surface, the cylindrical surface of a mug, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to repeat this action on the outer top point of the mug. So now I need to work on the handles, the vertical handles of the outer points of the mug. So I'm dragging them in and I'm dragging them perfectly vertically with the edge of my mug. So depending on what shape your mug is, you're going to want to finesse these lines to fit the shape of your mug. This mug happens to be a straight up and down mug. So these lines are about 90 degrees um, vertically. So that is what I've done here. And then what I'm going to do, because it's still a little bit warped because the handles are really long. So I'm going to bring the handles in a little bit on the top and the bottom to more accurately reflect what the mug would look like in real life. The cool thing about this warp tool is the inside of the grid. So I can just grab inside the grid and move the artwork around a little bit in order to look more natural. So this just really takes practice and you get better at it as you do more. And also it's gonna depend a lot on um, the artwork you're using too, because sometimes I will do this over and over and I just can't get it to look right. But the good thing about that is that number one, you have your standards, <laughs> which is good. And number two, if you're that worried about it, um, it actually probably looks just fine. If you've done it like three times and it looks pretty much the same each time, then the normal average person who's shopping isn't really going to notice what you're noticing because you're, you know, really, really keyed into looking for the imperfections. So if that's the case, don't worry about it too much. Just move on. <laughs> that's what I do. So now we're going to work on the inner top and bottom points. So those points, those are going to stay in position. We don't want to move those because if we move them, we're going to break the artwork and that's not a good look. What we're going to do is just drag those little handles a little bit in to sort of mimic the spatial quality of the warp around the cylindrical mug shape. This is kind of where the art and science comes in a little bit. So it's really like you got to do it by feel and it's going to be different, a little different with every different artwork that you use um, that you're warping. Just do the best you can and just practice it a lot, really. And you just get better at doing it. much for watching today. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you enjoyed this content and that you find value in it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and feel free to leave other video suggestions in the comments below. I love talking about this stuff with you guys. So thanks so much. I'm Kathy Weller and have a wonderful day. Bye. So are you ready to make an awesome looking mug mock-up?